Hello everyone, welcome to the second video in the devlog series for my upcoming 2D game, called The Two of Us. In today's video I will be adding new animations, a new level and much more. Alright, let's begin with the video. The first thing that I added this week was an animation for when the player jumps. Before this, the player would do the walking animation when he was jumping. Thankfully, I added the jump animation. Now when you jump, it will feel way more realistic and way better. After I added the jump animation, I added post-processing to the game. What I mean by that is that I made the game look way better than before. I added stuff like Vignette and Bloom. Now the game actually looks nice. So thank you post-processing, very cool. After I added post-processing to the game, I added the first enemy. I wanted the enemy to be basic, since it's the first level. So that's why the first enemy is a slime. You cannot kill the slime. Also, the slime can only move left and right. That's all it can do because it's the first enemy. The first enemies should always be very basic, so that the player can learn the game. After I added the first enemy, I obviously started working on the first level. The first level will be similar to a tutorial level, where you will need to learn the mechanics of the game. It will also be short. Here's a quick time lapse of me working on the level. As you can see, the level is looking nice. After I made the first level, I added particle effects for when the second player jumps. Yep, I added this so that you can tell the difference between the players. And as you can see, it looks really nice. After the particle effects, I added a quick animation for when you start the level. I think that this animation adds a lot of polish to the game. So yeah, that's pretty cool. The final thing that I've added this week was a portal so that the player can escape the level. Here's how the portal looks. There are also particle effects, which are really nice. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, you can subscribe because that helps me a lot. And plus, don't forget to turn on post notifications so that you will never miss a new video when I upload. In the upcoming weeks, I will be making epic content. So stay tuned. Alright, bye.